pituitary tumors are common tumors amongst all the brain tumors and today we are going to see one such case who had come to our pituitary center with the features of acromegaly let us understand what is acromegaly now acromegaly is a disorder which occurs because of a uh, hyper secretion of the growth hormone from the pituitary tumor and in that a person typically reports that over the period of time his face is broadening his uh, fingers are broadening he cannot wear the normal ring which he used to wear in the finger his uh, size of his chappals or boots is changing because of the uh, widening of uh, his feet uh, this happens because growth hormone causes increase in the thickness of all the tissues also the voice becomes more hoarse because growth hormone causes uh, thickening of the vocal cords and uh, also people say that uh, their tongue has become large and uh, you know the pronunciation has also become very heavy so uh, this i remember this young person who came to us also had started developing diabetes to develop diabetes in such young age is not unknown but rather uh, unusual that is type 2 diabetes i am talking about and this can happen because of uh, pituitary tumors and especially uh, tumors which secrete growth hormone or cortisol so let us hear pancham pachane's story now hello uh, my name is pancham pachane and i am from pune itself so in the month of july i i got diagnosed with uh, the micro uh, pituitary micro adenoma and uh, it was like i had a sugar but uh, there was no such side effect as such but in one my report you know that was a uh, uh, because of my acromegaly features like raising hands legs and you know face broader face and all so one of my uh, endocrinologist suggested me to have a growth hormone test so after doing the growth hormone test it, the report was not that good so that time it was diagnosed the uh, uh, micro pituitary abnormal tumor so when when that was diagnosed i was very nervous and i was little scared of it so i checked some good doctors and i came to know about the panchavaksar so i'm very thankful <laughs> to them actually i got this this doctor because when i came to know and when i came here uh, i was pretty nervous and scared but uh, when i met the doctor i got the confidence you know doctor is very uh, expertise in his field but apart from expertise the way he handled the patient i like the i like it so what doctor did uh, uh, gave me all the implications positive negative sides of it and how i can came out of this and how this needs to be done as soon as possible uh, he guided me he took almost half an hour more than that 45 minutes to guide me whole process and then i took the decision on that basis i got the confidence and within a week uh, i got hospitalized in the month of july uh, mid of july i got hospitalized and uh, even in the corona time this people actually helped me to go through this process smoothly then i got hospitalized and on 17th of july uh, i got uh, you know uh, operated in one of the hospital and it was it was very successful surgery i mean as per the report till date i can say post surgery also uh, sir helped me uh, you know how, how how should i proceed further with endocrinologist and all that stuff uh, after that i did just uh, on mri and uh, i met sir and uh, report is very good and the main uh, positive thing about this uh, surgery which helped me like you know i had type 2 diabetes and uh, post the surgery uh, uh, step by step with the help of doctor we stopped the medication and my report uh, of hb1c is currently uh, 5.6 so we are tracking the sugar i cannot say my sugar is reversed but there are chances because of the surgery and because of the doc- good uh, follow ups from doctor uh, it helped me to you know uh, to overcome the very major disease like sugar but currently i am facing i am not at all facing at such any challenge uh, it's like normal for me and uh, still i am taking some precautions as doctor said and i am tracking and taking the follow ups Uh, lastly uh, i i just want to say thanks to doctor for giving me the positive mindset and uh, uh, help me to overcome this such a big uh, thing uh, in very short span of time and very effectively so i must thanks to sir for this new journey for new this new life and uh, and thank you to everyone ma'am and all staff of the sir thank you so much what will you say 
for the patients who are suffering from pituitary tumors? Uh, I'll, I'll say then two major things like first of all your positive mindset is very important. You cannot, you, first of all you need to take have some confidence on yourself and also on the doctor. But take the action as soon as possible and make sure your mindset has to be positive. You should think positively that I am going to overcome from this disease okay and don't wait for you know any particular magic things will happen some doctor will give you medicine or something you know and secondly i feel trust on the doctor is very important if if you are if you are very um, and if you are taking a big decision you have to have a trust on the doctor you cannot take doubt yeah you have to be confident on yourself as well as with the doctor because they have the expertise and you have to assume that whatever they are saying with their expertise they are telling us so we should use their experience and at the same time have faith on God and my doctor as well so these two things I can say to everyone so this was Pancham Pachanet's story of pituitary tumor which was successfully removed at the pituitary tumor center it is important to remember that these tumors need to be diagnosed in time and uh, I have given the link below about the film that we have made about uh, the symptoms of the pituitary tumors, the investigations and the treatment modalities. Do watch those films and subscribe to our channel. Uh, if you like the film, you share it with others. These films are made with the aim of spreading knowledge about brain tumors, other brain conditions which need surgery and, and also the spinal problems which need surgery. Thank you very much and see you again.